Hi everyone, let's begin today in this session, Mann-Whitney U-test. Mann-Whitney U-test, it's a non-parametric test. And we had already, I will give you link of my one of the playlists where I had uh, already done this test through SPSS. And uh, we will compare whether SPSS results are same and uh, the same test we are going to apply in R. So you can see here, I had already, I will clean it, but first of all, let me give you introduction about this particular test and a non-parametric technique we are using in R in this. And uh, where is man whitney u test? The man whitney u test is used to check hypothesis that two independent sample come from populations having the same distribution. And uh, this is the non-parametric test is equivalent to parametric t-test of independent groups. Actually, what is the difference? T-test we are going to apply for independent groups when our data is normally distributed. But when data is not normally distributed, so we are going to apply man whitney u-test. And it is a non-parametric test. So let's say we are going to take one particular example and this example is the sale of two retail stores of Delhi. Let's say we had given store one, right? Store one, Delhi, and Hyderabad is store two are compared. The sales are in rupees lakhs, and there are total 20 responses we had collected, 10 from each store, right? And the data violates the assumption of an independent group's t-test as such, man whitney U test performed. So what happened? Because uh, this data is uh, not normally distributed and there are two categories. We have taken two um, uh, retail stores, one that is located uh, in the Delhi and one is located in uh, Hyderabad. And one coding we had given to Delhi and two we had given to Hyderabad. And on the right hand side, you can see sales sales that is in rupees legs so what is our hypothesis our hypothesis you can see here the distribution of sales in rupees legs is the same across categories of retail store so in, when i had applied spss it was accepted I will give you li this link in my description box that was accepted. So you can see this was the result through SPSS. And through SPSS, the, on the same data I have run and the retain the null hypothesis. That means we were failed to reject null hypothesis at the significance level 0 0.05. That was the result we have got. Now, these were the T statistics. Right, Will Cox and W and all. So now what we have to do, now the same data we would like to test in R. And how we have to run, fine. Let me first uh, clean all these things. I'm just cleaning uh, all these uh, imported values and uh, this plot also I am cleaning, right? Now what we have to do, and this file also, Man Whitney, we are closing, and uh, you can see here, I am just closing this. This is the this is our the uh, our script file. So first of all, what I I will do, I will import my data set. I will import my data says, set because this is the SPSS file I had already run. So I will use the same file, SPSS file. Where this file is put it here. So let me check that is uh, on the desktop and itself that is put it in my R folder and uh, R Studio folder. And in the R Studio folder, you can see Man Whitney and uh, you, I will use this SPSS file. I will open this file. And you can see this one is the library heaven that is required to open any, if first time you are using, first time you are opening this SPSS file, so you must install this library. Library heaven is required because I had already used in my R software number of times SPSS file. So I had first time when I'd used, so I had already installed library heaven that I will import. So now you can see this file is open. Retail, there are two columns, same file, retail and sales. And I will show you this file also, how, how I have done coding, uh, like SPSS itself, right? You can see, 
this file is i think that is not open one we had given to delhi and two we had given to hyderabad city so now what we have to do first i would because this one is the very long name man whitney test so simply i am putting up one name i will i will write here right this is my one variable i am creating where i will put this file man whitney test right so i will press enter you can see in the environment uh man whitney that was the file is open 20 observations of two variables that name is very long so i had uh, put it this file in this variable now what i have to do before running any test let me create because again and again i will not write dollar sign right so what i have to do let me create uh one i am just writing this store this variable i am creating over here and uh, from where it will pick up this one is the man is the one variable i had already created dollar sign and this retail that means this value i am storing in this variable so what is happening you can see here this variable is created here and uh, these values retail store values are i had put it in this variable so rather than i will again and again i will use this one is the long man and a dollar sign and this retail simply i will use sto and same thing i will do i will perform with sal sell sales and where is this sales variable in this same file and again i will press dollar sign and this sales variable i will put it in this variable so now you can see here both the variables are here and a uh, script how you have to write i will tell you here is the file when you have to press new file r script so new window will open up and here is you can write your script and after that simply you can run so before i mean rather than you are writing directly in console you can first write here or you can uh, run and uh, these comma the, these codes would be uh, reflecting over here so what i have to do uh, i had already let me close this file i don't want this file because uh, i had already created some script uh yes here is i had already created because a moment you will press here right you will click here run first of all we want to check box plot right so rather than i am writing here box plot you can see here uh, fine either you can run from this place or again you have to write in console because i am writing in console there would be more clarity to you rather than simply i would clicking on that uh, code i had written in my script so what i will do simply i will use box plot in between i will use this sign and after that i will use this store and i will write color what color combination i require so simply i want to use these colors right i want to use color let's say i am using uh, inverted commas and i will use blue color and uh, i want to use let's say one more color that would be green color so simply i would write or otherwise you can write or color code also 4 comma 5 so that would also be give you similar results so you can see here i will zoom this both these uh, box plots are here this one is the because first box plot i had given blue color another one i had given green color so same colors it is reflecting here and it is reflecting this the mean value of both these box plots and uh, my data is uh, now what i have to do after this i would like to check homogeneity test also so i would use this uh this one is the bartlett test and uh, what i have to do sal this is my one of the 
variable and store and i would use right center equal to mean center equal to mean correct and uh, i would uh, center equal to mean simply mean i think i don't require this thing mm, then i would press enter so you can see p value is 0 0.9742 so that means our data is the homogeneity is uh, here right in between both these variables because p value is greater than 0 0.05 now what I have to do, I would like to run Man Whitney test. So, Man Whitney test is uh, as you have seen in my statistics also. There is the one test you will type here, Wilcox, right? Wilcox test. If it would be functional, it would be automatically will be reflecting over here. And uh, this test in between my sales and across the cities so sale and stores and then i would press enter um okay so now you can see these are the results reflecting over here right w value of w you can copy this test also and you can report in your research paper or you are writing any thesis and all. So you can report here. This is my SPCS results. And this uh, box plot I had already copied here. I will tell you how you have to copy. And Will Coxon ranks some tests with continuity correction, right? And uh, there is the, you can see W value of the W is 63.5 and P value is 0.3237. It means an alternate hypothesis true location shift is not equal to zero. So that means when the p-value is greater than 0.5, so what we have to do the through R also, this null hypothesis is accepted or we can write here how we have to report our uh, this uh, results. So we can write here, I had written here, we are failed to reject null hypothesis. So you can write, we are, after this, you will write how you have to report, we are failed to reject null hypothesis, null hypothesis, right? So I'm sure through both the ways, what happened, same results we are getting, whether we are running to SPSS or the same test we are doing in R. So that means same results we are getting. But after that, suppose you want to know mean, median, high value, etc. So what you can do, you can simply install a library psyche. So here is library, then you have to press this run, right? I had already installed. And after that, you can use this one is described by and both these variables you have to write and you can see here descriptive statistics by group because group one in my first group data is from delhi right there's the one city delhi another city i have taken two second city i have taken hyderabad so i'm just comparing whether there is any difference in the sales right so I had through this Man Whitney test, I had already proven we have failed to reject null hypothesis. That means there is no difference between these two. I had already said here, written here, the distribution of sales in rupees lex is the same across categories of the retail store. That means both these cities are these, this is the sales is same. So, what we have to write here now you can see here so this one is a descriptive statistics also you can copy from this place and you can report there uh, now how you have to copy this plot you can zoom this you can see here right and after that what you can do export 
copy to clipboard i mean other ways also let me explain you other ways also this is the uh, save as image save as pdf right and copy to clipboard so i'm just copying this clipboard and i will put simply this uh, box plot over here simply i will press this control v and both these box plots you can report in your research paper one more thing suppose you want to know about this what is this test wilcox dot test so simply you have to go to help you can write because this is the beauty of the r everything is written there and uh, what you can do you can simply type here right automatically it will come and you can press and everything description is here you can see on this this side let me bigger this pane this window will coxon rank sum and signed rank test everything is written here by default what is this and next time onwards also i would like to write coding in that way only because uh, coding because first open bracket and the closing bracket and in between we are writing all these arguments all these uh, all these all this coding i mean so these are the arguments you can see x y and alternate is paired each and everything is written here what do you mean by confidence con confidence interval right c u n f dot so what is this where we have to use and all these things are written here beautifully so you can go through this and you can save up now how you have to save this file i mean this script i had written right i had already saved but first time when you are when you are opening this file, particular uh, particular this console this one is the script so you have to save right anywhere whatever is the directory or you can save as per the uh, this one is the save as you have to click here and you can save this file so i'm sure this video would be helpful thank you so much keep watching thanks a lot